All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the audio in advance. It's just way too hot to turn the fans off. Usually I turn my fans and stuff off so there's not a lot of noise in the recordings, but it's, just, it's too hot to turn them off even for a minute. If you've seen my videos before, like all the way back since I first started, I've always kind of had a thing for, for telescopic rods. Uh, one of my most recent videos was a little pin rod I caught a four pounder on. Uh, I've had that the one from Eau Claire Rods uh, that I got a, that I did a review on, and I've also here's a this one's a broken one. Uh, it's actually this is my back scratcher now. Actually, I just use it to you know it works. That's what it's that's about all it's good for because it's there. It it feels like cardboard. It's such a lightweight material. Uh, but I decided I would do. I, I did a review on this with a real cheap real combo that I did. I, de I decided I should revisit that because the original one I didn't really go in, in depth on it. Uh, so I ordered another one and they, I guess the company that makes them went and did a con quality control thing because it's the same price. It's still about three to four dollars for a six and a half foot rod. Uh, it, as you can see the side by side comparison here. Let me see if my light turns on. Nope, I forgot to plug it in. Anyway. You can see this one's gray. It's a little bit thinner. This one, it's it's sturdier. It already feels better than the old one did. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be a good rod. It just, you know, it's it's already better. Let me go and extend it here. See how it feels. It's it's a little bit thicker than the old one was. It's heavier, and it feels sturdier. It feels better. Uh, it does feel like it's got some more better flex to it. It feels like it's definitely a better quality rod than it was before. Now if you search for, for fishing rods or something on eBay or Amazon and you set the cheapest buy it now price, you know, search cheapest first, this is probably the first one that's going to come up. Uh, but this is legitimately, I think I paid like three, three something for this. It's like, it's less than four dollars. And this one is a six and a half. This is the other, this is the Eau Claire. It's a seven footer. Just putting them together side by side comparison. And it's, it's, it's bigger than six and a half. It's about three inches shorter than the seven footer here. So it's almost, almost seven feet right there. That's the difference. Probably about three inches. Comparing it to the original version, it's, you know, it's, it's a lot thicker right there in this section. And the handle is just better quality. The other one just had like plastic wrap on it and it was weird. Didn't really, really hold the reel very well. And then I got the cheapest reel available. One of the reasons I decided to go ahead and do this review is because I saw, uh, I forget his name, I think it's Lawson Lindsay, Fishing with Lawson. He did a review on this reel as well. And uh, here it is. It's actually, it, it, there's a bunch of them. They all come with different names. Uh, this one's the Bai Hui or something, 200. Uh, I actually searched for JL200. This one's a BL200. But it's the same thing, BH200. It's the same thing. They're all the same thing. They just have different names and brands put on them, but they're the same thing. This, I think, was about $4, too. So I've probably put about $8 total into this combo. Also, another quick thing I'm going to point out is uh, this reel already came spooled up. I don't know what the... It looks real thin. It's probably like a 6 or 8 pound test. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on there and try it out with the line that came on it. Do a 100% stock test of it exactly the way it came. Testing this out over here. I don't usually fish this area of the river, but the last, I've been coming here the last couple of days and it's actually been producing pretty well. So, of course, I'm going with my uh, go to bait, the skinny Sanko. This rod, I selected the, uh, there is a cheaper version, there's the 1.8 meter. This one is the 2.1 meter. So it's it's probably about six foot eight, and the uh, the eyelets on it, like most telescopic rods, they're kind of in the middle between between uh, uh, bait casting and spinning. So like you could put a bait caster on it as well. That would be a snag, but it's a good time to test the strength. 
It's got some good flex to it. It's definitely stronger. The other one would have snapped by now. Although the uh, the eyelets are starting to come loose. Whatever kind of glue they use, if they even use glue at all to hold the eyelets in place, it, it doesn't hold them in place for very long. Oh, there we go. Got a fish. And the drag's grinding up on it. See, I don't think it's a very big fish, but it's putting up a fight on this reel. Oh, look, it's a little sunfish. Oh, big sunfish, actually. Fought pretty hard because of the, the reel. It was pulling drag, and there he goes. Well, uh, swim sang or skinny sango tied on. Let's give it another shot. It's definitely getting better casting now that the water, the line's getting wet and straightening itself out a little bit. So, oh, there's one. There we go. Oh, oh, the handle just broke off. Look at this. I got a fish, and the handle just broke off on me. That sucks, dude. I hope this fish ain't going nowhere, but the handle just broke off on me. Let me do this. <laughs> there you go. That's why you don't buy $3 reels. Alright. Though the rod is holding up, the reel did not. jumping around up there not putting up a big fight it's not a very big fish but it broke the reel that's only the second fish the first fish I could hear grinding this fish, I mean the reel the handle can be replaced I could probably replace it with another generic handle or handle off another reel so I don't know maybe I'll do that sometime I don't have one on me but we'll let me do this good thing I decided to bring my net my fly net brought my fly fishing gear with me here it looks like it might actually pay off on me. <laughs> I have to bring him in by hand. Luckily, it's not a very big fish. It's a decent little bass, little Guadalupe. Nice little guad. There you go. Brand new reel, and I'm hooked in the net. Oh, I'll fix that later. Look at the fish. This is a Guadalupe bass. It's probably about average size for them. It's a nice little chunky one. They don't get very big, so couldn't get a release on him. Off he goes. All right, there you go. See the the handle. That's an easy easy replacement anyway. It looks like the. The metal didn't break, just the plastic around it did. So, uh, just do this, bring it in the rest of the way, and this is why you always carry more than one rod, or carry a backup or something, just in case something happens. This one is now unusable, and yeah, it's, it's garbage now, pretty much. Not really, I mean, I can replace the handle easily, just grab it off another reel, like an old broken reel that I have, but yeah that's that's not something you want to see happen the first time you use a reel like that was the second fish i'd caught on this and it wasn't much bigger than that first one but but yeah as far as the review goes there you go you saw it for yourself the rod handled the small fish well it didn't snap on me like they the older ones did it's better quality than they used to be i still wouldn't really recommend it but it's definitely better than they used to be and the uh, reel well the handle is a piece of garbage anyway. There you go. I could probably epoxy it back together if I wanted to, but I don't really want to. 